Yeah, hi there. These comments are for uh, C. You're one of my students over here at California State University, San Bernardino, and you completed one of my integrated speaking practice tests. Let's hear what you have to say. How the teacher makes student fun to learning so the student doesn't get bored and more concentrate. How the teacher makes student fun. How the teacher makes... Now, when you're doing this, you want to mention where this information comes from. Is this coming from a reading or a listening passage? Who is saying this information? You want to give credit to the sources that you're using. So this is important in academic speaking. How the teacher makes student fun to learning so the student doesn't get bored and more concentrate in class. So the student doesn't get bored and more, you want to say, so the student doesn't get bored and can concentrate better in class. So you're having some problems with your language use there. Teacher have to approach the student, make them as a friend in order to make the student more enjoyable to study at the class. Okay, so with this one, let's talk about your score now. You are missing a lot of the information from the listening passage, so that's going to cause your score to be low. When you're summarizing, you want to include the main point and the most important supporting points and make sure you don't leave out those important points. I think there were two different methods of interactive learning that was mentioned, I think, in the listening passage, and you, you did not adequately explain what those two methods were. All right, let's take a look at the actual rubrics. Uh, I'm going to put you right now at about, on this assignment, uh, 1.83 out of 4, or this is going to put you at 14 points out of 30. Now, for the purposes of our class, uh, 1.83 is going to give you a score of 65% on this assignment. At least you did it, right? So this is your first one. So here's my recommendations. You've got to get more organized, I think. So go to speaking lesson number seven. That's in the seventh step of my course. Go over that lesson. That's going to help you with uh, your organization. Now, you can also uh, go over to the grammar area of my course. I can tell from your speaking that you need a little bit more grammar practice. You can start practicing in my grammar lesson number seven. That's going to also help you solve some of the language issues that you're having right now. Alright, anyway, thank you very much.